Hey guys, what's up? I'm Trevor. And I'm Sean. And together we're Vapertron. And today we have for you <clears throat> the E-Leaf TC60 Watt Starter Kit that we're going to be unboxing for you right here. Uh, we've already got our juice selected that we're going to be using, if Trevor wants to show that. Fruity Loops. We bought another bottle. Yes. The bottle we reviewed before actually came open in Trevor's pocket, lost almost the entire bottle literally the day after we recorded the review. To give you an idea how much I like it, I bought it again. Yeah. So, uh, we got this actually because my TC 40 watt was starting to cause some problems. And of course, just like when we bought the one for Trevor, the one we bought just the mod, it started to work again. So, you know what, I'm taking this as a sign that the universe wants us, whenever we can afford to, to get something to review for you. I know, right, that's so a new age. So, when you first open it up... When you first open it up, I'm just going to pop that right in there like that to show you more easily. We have the uh, mod itself and, of course, the tank. I shouldn't have done that, actually, because I want to read the back. This is a Milo, I believe. Milo 2, yeah. Tank. Yes, mellow. It says it's spelled mellow. I mean, Milo, everyone keeps pronouncing it, so I'll go with that. Two tank, right here. And I was kind of playing with one of these at the store. And it's kind of cool that it has the nice adjustable airflow here. But my favorite feature is I don't have to disassemble anything now to. Kind of a bit where it's new, I guess. Yeah, there we go. To fill it, I just open up this slot right here to fill it up. And just, ah, keep in mind it just unboxed. Fill the little stiff. And that's it. That's all it takes. And I that, can just that's close like, it back up and vape away on that's it. That's like this crown tank I recently I reviewed. Uh, topical. Videos will be in the description. Oh, yes. That review was just posted yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yesterday as of this recording time. Does this even have a bottom open option? I never looked at that Yes, part. it does. So you, it can, does. so you can change swap your coils. Everything's you know you went right to tank. Ones. You're there not really go. supposed to do that. You're supposed to go to the rest no? of stuff in the box. This has oh, good point. Stuff, does it? Actually, I'll yes, I should. This is the E-Leaf 40 watt, 60 watt, 60 watt TC. It's the same one as... It's actually the same concept as this, but it has a higher wattage and a removable 18650 battery that we will be popping right in there. And it does have an option, we should have grabbed a pin or something to do this, uh, that you can just, when you have it open, you can see there above the negative contact, I don't know if this will show up on camera, but there's a small space there, you just poke a small screwdriver or something in there, and the back panel pops right off. And you can actually buy replacement panels like this in different colors to replace it with. If you don't like the black or whatever color comes with it, or if you get tired of that color, you can literally change that. I'm actually thinking I might paint the panels or put maybe uh, print up a decals or something and put on there. Yeah, my Elite kind. 60 is over there on charge, so I, was got, I forgot I was using my Elite 40. Yes. So, while we are... While I'm po popping the Trump's popping up in the box, I'm gonna pop this in here. All right. So of course you got your normal thing here. It comes off like this. Okay. You got this. That comes off. The only time I ever have trouble putting one of these is in it. And guess off. what? You have. I have a. I have a. Oh. Rings. Rings. And charging cable. Charging cable in there. This is the coil. This is the. Uh, Titanium. titanium coil right here looks like it is the same coils as the um, where is very it? similar to the ones in the Atlantis I know I have an Atlantis coil yeah, the, uh, the Atlantis and the um, what's the other one called Triton Triton coils this is the titanium that's the nickel they look very similar you got your replacement uh, seals seals you got your USB cable and of course, as with anything, the information sheets for the tank, and of course the instruction booklet for the uh, mod itself. 
Now, we already have one of these that Trevor's been using for a while, the mod, so we don't really need a lot of information on, the ta on that. And I just popped the 18650 while Trevor was explaining the other uh, contents of the box. And I do need that coil, though, because I'm not using the Kenthal one that's already installed. Why not? Uh, I'm going to save the Kenthal one for any time that we want to do a review and we're just too... Do you want to use titanium or nickel? Busy or lazy to... Uh, titanium or nickel? Nickel. The nickel? Okay. Yeah. I want to have it as close to something we're used to as possible. This is the Kenthal. The Kenthal one just has a white section on the bottom and uh, clear seal here. And the nickel one, oh, it has a white section down there too, but it has the... Um, this nickel coil actually is, let me see what the ohms are. The nickel coil is... The, 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 sorry, the... Uh, titanium. Is 0.5. And that's 0.15. And then the uh, normal Kental coil is 0.3, 30 to 80 watts. While I'm desperately trying to get this open, uh, we'll also briefly mention, and I wasn't sure if I was going to mention this in the uh, video or not, uh, after we left and on the way home today, or to Trevor's rather, well, home for him, I guess, uh, we found, I need something sharp here. On the way, we found a, uh, an EVOD BCC. We've already posted this on Facebook and on a local Facebook group. Uh, we found an EVOD BCC on the Donald Drive. So if you happen to have lost one, uh, contact us via our Facebook page. Or and, YouTube. Uh, or YouTube. Sorry, guys. I'm here looking for something to open it. Oh, there we go. Really good. Or YouTube, or however you can get a message to us with the color of the one you lost and uh, any uh, distinguishing marks, damage, scratches, scrapes, dents, whatever that you're aware of. And uh, if it's yours, we'll, we'll try to get it back to you as quickly as possible. I know I wouldn't want to be without mine. There we go. Now, I gave you back the other coil already. I don't want to put the bottom back on this. Anyway, oh well. I guess you can refill it from top and bottom if you wanted to, essentially. Oh, yes. uh, I wouldn't want to try to fill it because that's small space, actually. There's not much space there. I don't know if this is picked up properly on camera, but you can see there's not a lot of space there. Just enough for the juice to go through. You can probably manage it with a very Wait, narrow Wait, is, is the glass replaceable because... Well, there's replacement seals, so most likely. It's not coming off. I guess it's not. Yeah. Huh? Well, there's replacement seals, like I said. Actually, I think that just slides right off. Be careful. Yeah. You only got one, one piece of glass. There. Listen, you only got the one piece of glass. Don't bother with it. All right. Yeah. Well, we'll at least get through a review first. We'll look at that at another time. But it does look, yes, actually, as you can see here very easily, that just that would slip right off. It's no, you can't because of my cloud. <laughs> but, I mean, if you were here to look, at uh, that glass definitely slides right off. It just slips very tightly onto the seal, so it would probably be extremely difficult to get off, which is a good thing because it also means you've got a good seal, so you don't have to worry about it leaking in your pocket. How would you prime the coil? I guess you don't. I don't oh, think. yes, I should. Um, Pass me the juice, please. You turn fruity loops. So we already mentioned that. Oh yes. Hold this, please. This interesting tank. I like this. I like the top four here. Oh yeah. Well, the fact that I don't even have to remove them, even, it's even easier than the one you just reviewed to fill because you don't even have to remove anything. Oh, yeah, removable 510? Oh, yes, five, well, the drip tip. Yeah, uh, 510 five, five, drip tip. Yeah, because the connector underneath is called 5102, so I just want to be clear on that. Make sure the coil is well primed. And. I'm the kind of person, by the way, who likes to really well climb the coils. I apologize if that makes the video run on a little bit longer than anyone watching was hoping it would. Of course, by now you've probably already looked at the time at the bottom and know better than I do at this particular moment in time while we're recording how long this video is. So, about 10 minutes. Probably. I just looked at the time. <laughs> it hasn't been 10 minutes yet. Has it? Yeah, about. We should next time remember to turn our phones off. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get copyrighted for that. 
Please turn that off. I hope we don't get copyrighted for that. I'm going to, uh... That was our 2D2, by the way, guys. Yeah, well, there you go. That way we've given credit to, uh, Lucasfilm and whoever for, uh, that sound. We don't own it. We, uh, have no ownership over that noise. It just happened to be that that's my notification ringtone. Please don't sue us. We're poor. This we have feels no like money for us for you to sue us for. This feels like plastic, Sean. Really? <coughs> I doubt it. Of course, then the uh, the one no, in the... No, that's less. Yeah. All right, boy, that's enough. All right, fine. Hold that while I reassemble. I believe it's a four millimeter. <laughs> millimeter, yep. Four millimeter. Okay. Thank you. I believe so. You can double check though because I want all information in our videos to be completely accurate. Halo 2. I heard that this is an okay tank. This is a good tank. Mm -hmm. Now, the juice. And I'm going to use that lovely top fill, fe fill feature. 4.5 milliliters. Already loved before I've even used it. With the large liquid capacity of 4.5 milliliters, a new Milo 2 atomizer is remarkably simple and convenient to use. Ease of refilling e liquid when using the ECTC NI blah blah heads. Um, it's 4.5 milliliter tank. And uh, yeah, mm -hmm. 4.5 milliliter. And incidentally, we've got this juice in another tank here now for comparison, flavor comparison. We've got it in my, what would we call oh, that? Well, it's got a Triton coil in it, so uh, Atlantan. <laughs> or Tritus. Tritus. Yeah, that sounds better. My Tritus tank. My Atlantis tank with a Triton coil. I do think those coils are the same coils that are in the Atlantis, the Triton and Atlantis tanks. It looks like it. Could very well and be. I'm pretty sure... Other reviewers said that. Wow, this is taking a lot of views, isn't it? 4.5 milliliters. You can tell. I'm sure our viewers are looking and thinking, geez, how many times is he going to have to put into this to fill it? Anyway, so uh, why that is priming, we will be right back. Absolutely. And we're back. A uh, bit of a wait for us, but uh, of course, due to the magic of YouTube, no wait for you at all. So, uh, one thing I uh, forgot to mention, by the way, is that to adjust the, you can actually adjust on this mod the wattage within temperature control. So you can basically set the maximum wattage it's going to go to until it reaches the temperature you've set it at, simply by holding both the up or down button and the uh, switch button. Menu button, they call it. Menu button at the same time. So, for example, if I wanted to go down below 60 watt, I would simply hold down both the menu button and the down button simultaneously and the wattage would go down. I however I'm going to keep it at 60 watts for now and I've got the uh, temperature set right up on full as well uh, just cause I'm a crazy man like that and I've got the airflow opened right up and right about now this should be about ready to go. Oh yeah, let's, So you can get them in two, two different ones. You can get them in black or you can get them in black and gray. See, mine is sort of a brushed steel, mm -hmm. and uh, there is actually a third option, a chrome option. I didn't go for the chrome option because it seems like a fingerprint magnet, whereas brushed steel uh, it gives us an easy way to tell the difference between the two, but it doesn't fingerprint as easily as chrome, so a lot better there in my opinion. I never noticed that on yours. The words temp control in very big letters, I never noticed before on the black but it's actually very clear there. I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera. I like that. Just a little feature I like. All right, give it a oh, so Let's give it a go. Airflow sounds pretty good. Oh, wow. Does I need to do a comparison puff while you try? Yeah, flavor production is fantastic. Ooh, wow. The flavor is dead on to Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops. Yes. 
The flavor production in this tank on this mod is fantastic. Now the mod itself, of course, we're already aware, <clears throat> because we've had one, even though we haven't reviewed it until now, that these mods are great little mods, uh, especially for the price. They are a fantastic option. And uh, the only thing is I would recommend carrying an extra 18650 with you because they, uh, if you're going up to a fairly high temperature like we do, they're not going to last all that long. Uh, please, however, please, 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 if you do carry an extra 18650 with you, you can get these for like a buck or two. Get one. Don't carry it in your pocket with your keys. Like, I don't know if any of you have watched my Myth Monday on uh, exploding batteries, but seriously, you don't carry any kind of battery unless it's in some kind of container in your pocket with any kind of conductive metal, and all it takes is a split second of not thinking to not realize, oh wait, that's the same pocket I have some spare change in, or that's the same pocket my keys are in. So just grab one of these, please. Just for your own safety. And also, um, but the, in the uh, meantime, carry an 18650 with you just so you won't run out. And when it comes to the uh, um, comparison, this is pretty damn comparison to the Crown Tank, man. The vape production. Yeah, it is. I was using uh, Trevor's uh, crown, new Crown Tank today. And it was actually really good, and I'm finding this is absolutely wonderful, too. Um, it's an absolutely wonderful mod. It's a wonderful um, uh, tank. Dual airflow. I never mentioned that before, but the airflow slot slots are on both sides. So, absolutely fantastic that way. Uh, did I, pa I passed you the uh, coil, didn't I? The other coil. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. And uh, as you can see, a uh, oh, this is got a slightly smaller juice flow than the nickel one, but a great juice flow. Now, like I said, that's slightly smaller than the one in that's the airflow nickel coil. Airflow, sorry. And uh, juice flow, these juice flows holes are slightly smaller as well. I guess it's like but a even on the smaller one, it's a great juice flow. I guess on like uh, on most of these tanks, the lower you go, the, the lower you go in ohms, the bigger your juice holes are. Yeah, because naturally, the lower you go in ohms, the faster you're going to go through your juice. Same thing with the, the uh, this, is the, uh, this is the um, titanium, titanium coil. It's way smaller than the uh, Kental. You can tell. Side by side. See? Yes. So, overall, a fantastic mod and a uh, fantastic uh, tank. Uh, this kit is available at Rock Vapor. I'm actually going to just check. Uh, I believe it was about 90, $94.99 plus tax at current prices. Now, please don't watch this video a year from now and go down there expecting it to be that same price. Please, it's January 2015, 16. <laughs> Oops. Go back to Yes, yes. We, we, we just hopped in the TARDIS. We just got out of the TARDIS to do this video. Uh, <laughs> It's, it's January 2016. Please don't go down there in 2017, 2018, 2020 and expect this price to be the same. It's still a business. But as of right now, uh, it's about 90, 94, 99 uh, uh, for this. And, uh, you know, uh, for the price, it's a fantastic mod. It's fantastic they, in general. They also throw in an 18650 when you buy it. Yeah, that's, that's including the 18650 you need, yes. Wow, that's ridiculous. Isn't fantastic it? flavor production, fantastic vape production, and I kind of suspect that uh, if you were uh, a little bit of a cloud chaser, you'd be satisfied with this as well. Especially uh, if you threw the Kenthal in there and put it on 60. So, what do you think? Some. You're not going to win any competitions with it, but it uh, would certainly satisfy you in terms of your own normal use. So, Anything else? Don't forget to don't forget to subscribe, like, and favorite and comment on this video. Absolutely. And uh, as usual, the uh, links to this little lovely device, uh, this beauty, will be below, as well as the link to uh, where we bought it, Rock Vapor, their Facebook page anyway, along with our Facebook page and our Twitter. So please feel free to reach out if you have any suggestions, comments, 
requests on things that you'd like to see reviewed. And, uh, well, our budget isn't exactly infinite, but uh, we will try to accommodate you. Anything else? Nope. All right. That's it. Uh, as for the person who lost that uh, EVOD BCC, um, if you're curious, by the way, it's basically the same thing as an EVOD 1, except it has four windows instead of two. It's the same one that I started with, actually. So, uh, but as for the person who lost that, we hope we can find you and get that back to you. Uh, well, I know how I'd feel if I lost mine. So, with that said, this is Vapor Tron. Oh.